When it comes to products over the last couple of years that have had the greatest impact on my quality of life, there's one that immediately jumps to mind, and that is the eight sleep system. If you're a regular here, you know we talk about golf. If you're new here, well, we talk about golf. Now the eight sleep pod three cover is not a golf product, but it's the product that I've used the most that has had the greatest impact on my recovery from golf, as well as, well, all the other physical activities I do. This thing is not cheap. It is actually a very expensive product, but in this review, I'm gonna talk about the full experience I've had over the last six months using the Nate Sleep System. I've also used Sleep Me products as well as BedJet products, so I'm gonna compare the eight to those. And I'm gonna give you the full rundown on whether or not this is actually worth the over $2,000 it's going to cost you to buy it. So if you've had trouble sleeping, if you've been looking for a way to stay cooler while you sleep or warmer while you sleep, if you've been looking for a way to help with your recovery from your physical activities, keep watching. This might be one of the most important videos you watch today. Okay, that might have been a little bit, maybe most important video you watch today. That might not be a lot, unless this is the only video you watch today, in which case then by default, it might be the most important. But honestly, I have been blown away with the eight sleep system. So to give you some quick background, about four years ago for my birthday, I asked my wife to get me an Uller sleep system by Sleep Me. So at the time, this was their highest end system, and I used that for about three years. Overall, it was really good. I enjoyed the fact that my bed would stay mostly cool throughout the night, especially during hot summers. The problem is, is we don't have air conditioning. So in the summer, when it got really hot, it didn't stay that cool. It's also pretty loud, and the app, well, the app's not the greatest. But considering how much I love the concept, that led me to looking for products that would do the same thing, just do it a little bit better which brought me to 8sleep. Now, 8sleep has an array of products, but the one we're talking about today is the Pod 3 cover. This is essentially a fancy mattress pad that you put on your existing mattress that's going to heat and cool your bed to whatever your desired temperature is. And it does a whole lot more than that. Not only will it adapt throughout the night to how well you're sleeping, it also has built-in sleep tracking. So whereas you might have a Garmin watch or an Apple watch to track your sleep, the 8 has all of it built in and it is surprising how well it works. So now that you have a little bit of an idea of what it is, let's talk about first impressions and what this thing is like to set up. When it arrived, it came in two boxes. Actually, the whole thing was quite a bit bigger than I was expecting it to be. So first off, the mattress pad itself is pretty good size and pretty heavy because you have all those coils, you have the sensors for all the sleeping, and then you've got kind of big plastic tubes for the water to be able to come in and out of to make sure that, you know, it's not going to leak. So unlike the bed jet, which uses air, this basically uses a pump that pumps water through the coils of the mattress pad to either heat up or cool down your bed as you're sleeping. Now, me talking about this, I'm making it sound like it's kind of uncomfortable. The good news about the 8 system is for the most part, you don't really notice the coils. When you're just laying there and it is turned off, you can't really feel anything, especially if you put a top sheet on over it. Whereas with the Uller system I used before, it was much more clear that the coils were there and you could kind of feel them. Granted, you get used to them over time, but I was really pleased to see that the 8 system does a pretty good job of masking those, leveling everything out, so that you don't feel like you're kind of sleeping on a rumpled mattress. In the other box comes essentially the pump and the control center. So the eight control center is about a foot and a half tall and you set it to the side of your bed. One of the nice things about the eight system is whereas those other systems I've used for each side of the bed, you had to have two separate units. The eight, it's all built into one. So you only need one base or one pump and you can still control both sides of the bed separately, which is really cool. One downside to this that I just want to mention up front while we're talking about it is the fact there's no manual controls on the device itself. So that was one nice thing about the Uller is if I was getting too hot or too cold in the middle of the night, I could just reach down, hit the plus or minus button, and it will quickly adjust to what I'm looking for. Whereas with the 8 system, not only do I keep it a little bit further away on the other side of my nightstand, but it also doesn't have any manual controls. So if you want to adjust things in the middle of the night manually, you do have to get out your phone, open up the app, and it's very easy to do so. But if it's the middle of the night, and it's like 2.30 in the morning, and you have to grab your phone, open it up, find the app, make the adjustment, getting blasted with light from your phone in the middle of the night, it's not necessarily ideal. So I do miss those manual controls. Despite the fact that coming in two boxes and feeling like this really robust system, which it is, I was expecting the setup process to be a lot more difficult than it was. Frankly, in about 20 minutes, I was set up and good to go. Putting on the mattress pad was just like putting on any other mattress pad. You just wanna make sure the hoses go behind the bed and then run along to the dock. So you wanna make sure those are positioned correctly, but otherwise getting it on was pretty simple. Once you've got your dock plugged in, you're gonna download the 8 app, which I've gotta say is so well done. This thing feels high end, 
feels high tech. It feels really, really well built. And I have had zero issues with the app over the six months plus that I have been using it. It has been rock solid and it does everything it's supposed to do and it does it really well. Once you create your account, you go through the setup process, it's going to have you prime the pump. So you're gonna put distilled water if you have it or regular tap water will work fine. And it's gonna take anywhere from like 60 to 90 minutes to basically prime everything and get it ready to use. So I would recommend when you set this up to do it earlier in the day so that you can still use it that night and have it ready to go. So my first night sleeping on it was honestly kind of shocking. It was last summer, it was a hot day, and I was laying in bed when it turned on and I could immediately feel the cold water rushing under me and this kind of like wave of coolness on my bed. And it was great because like I said, the Uller system I was using before, you never quite got that, especially on hot days. If it had been on for an hour or two, then you would get in and be like, oh, this is you know nice and cool. But the longer you stayed there, the more it warmed up. Not to mention in order to combat hot rooms, the fans had to be on high, which then made the rest of the room hotter. The eight on the other hand, while you can still hear it at times, it is way quieter than any of the other systems I have used from Sleep Me or BedJet. And not only is it quieter, it's a less distracting noise. The Uller had this like high-pitched whine and the 8 is just kind of a low hum. You don't really notice it for the most part unless you're looking for it or if you're really trying to crank up or crank down the temperature very quickly. So temperature wise it goes from negative 10 which is 55 degrees up to plus 10 which I believe is 110 degrees. So I put it at negative 8 that first night in a hot room. I mean the room was probably pushing 80 degrees and immediately everything felt cooler. I laid on that bed and I woke up in the middle of the night. The entire side of my bed that I was sleeping on was ice cold. I never got that with any other system and I can't believe that it was able to keep it that cool even though the room was that hot. Six months later still using it, I continue to be surprised by how well this works and I've often found that I will turn it down in the middle of the night because it gets too cool. And part of the reason why I keep it so cool is it helps promote deeper sleep and better recovery. That in my mind is the reason to invest in this, to make your bed as cool as possible so that you're promoting that deeper sleep. I have found myself sleeping much better when I am using it. Like when I travel and I go to stay in a hotel, even if it's a fancy hotel with really comfortable beds, I don't often sleep as well because I've gotten so used to having the eight and I legitimately miss it when I travel. Hey, real quick, I just wanna say at the end of this video, if you watch Watch this and you decide, you know what, I think I do want to buy this and if this video was helpful to you, I've got an affiliate link below. If you click the link, then I will get a commission. Uh, but honestly, I wholeheartedly believe in this product. Whether I had an affiliate link or not, I would still shoot this video because it has had such a tremendous positive impact on my life. But if you got some value, if this was helpful and you want to help support me continuing to make review videos like this, then if you click that link and buy the product, it helps me out. So just wanted to say that and say thank you for tuning in. One of the coolest features about 8 is what they call autopilot. So after a couple weeks of sleeping with it, it's going to start to learn your routines. Because it has those built-in sensors, it can tell not only when you're awake or when you're asleep, it can also tell what sleep stage you're in. It can tell if you're in light sleep, if you're in REM sleep, or if you're in deep sleep. And so what it will do is it will adjust the temperature based on what sleep mode you're in. So it's trying to promote you being in deep sleep as long as possible. And if it's warmed itself up a little bit, or say you started with it warmer, it can automatically cool itself down while you're sleeping to try and keep you in deep sleep longer. And generally speaking, I found it to work really well. Not to mention you can set parameters. So if you're someone that likes to sleep with it warmer, you can set those temperatures ahead of time. So if you're at like plus two for most of the night, it's not gonna drop you down to like negative eight. It's gonna learn what you like, and then make small adjustments accordingly to help give you the best sleep possible. Honestly, the sleep tracking, like it legitimately just kind of feels like magic. The fact I can go to bed and wake up, not do anything, not wear anything, and it's gonna tell me exactly when I fell asleep, how much I slept, what my sleep stages were, what my heart rate variability is, what my resting heart rate is, what my breath rate is, how it compares to other nights sleeping, the quality of my sleep. Like it's, it's really mind blowing. And so if you're someone who doesn't like wearing a wearable, like if you're someone who doesn't like wearing your Apple watch to bed, this is by far the best way to track your sleep. So as many of you know, I've switched from an Apple Watch to a Garmin watch, and I don't have issues sleeping with the Garmin watch. I just kind of forget about it. And generally speaking, the results have been very similar. They're not identical because with the Garmin watch, the sensor is on my wrist, whereas with the eight sleep, you're getting kind of full body sensors. But if I have a good night's sleep, I can see that reflected in both the Garmin and the eight apps. And if I have a bad night's sleep, I can see that reflected in both the Garmin and the eight apps. So the sleep tracking honestly works as good as a wearable, and I think that was one of my biggest surprises with it. 
But as with everything, there's always a little bit of a catch. And the catch here is all that sleep tracking, all of that cool stuff. Well, in order to access that, you need to have the subscription. And that's, we talk about this a lot here on this channel, subscriptions are always a bummer. And that's especially true when it comes to a sleep system like eight, that's very much a luxury product coming in at over two grand. To have to pay a subscription on top of that, well, it kind of sucks. But honestly, if you're willing to spend that much on the system, then you should probably be prepared to get the subscription as well. That's what's going to allow you to get that autopilot feature. That's what's going to allow you to get all the sleep tracking and all the sleep data. If you don't do that, pretty much the only thing you're going to be able to do is turn it on and off and adjust the temperature manually. But if you want to track everything, if you want it to adjust things for you, then you're going to need a membership. Now for the basic membership, it's 15 bucks a month. Uh, that's going to come with a two year warranty. For 24 bucks a month, you get the enhanced membership, which I think the only thing that it changes is it goes from a two year warranty to a five year warranty. So for an extra nine bucks a month or for an extra hundred ish dollars a year to get that extra three years of warranty, uh, that may be worth it to you or it may not. But considering it's a pretty expensive product, that may be worth it just for the peace of mind. That being said, I've had mine for over six months and have had zero issues with it. Okay, so all of that to say, let's do a quick recap of what the downsides of this are. The absolute biggest one is it's expensive. So for me, I've got the queen with the perfect fit. The retail price on that right now is $2,300. You can often find discount codes that are going to knock a few hundred dollars off this, but you can expect to pay just over $2,000 for a queen size perfect fit that has the dual climate control. Throw in the basic subscription, which is 15 bucks a month or $180 a year, and all of a sudden you have a very expensive product. Other downsides are the fact that it does make noise when you sleep. Like I said, it's not loud, it's not as obnoxious as some of the other products out there, uh, but you can hear it if you're looking for it, uh, as well as the fact that it doesn't have manual controls. So the only way to adjust it is using the app, which can be a little bit of a pain if it's in the middle of the night. But aside from those downsides, which admittedly are considerable, especially if you're on a budget, this is not a cheap product. This is also a product that has had a greater effect on my day-to-day -day life than probably anything else I have used over the last last few years. I'm sleeping better, I'm sleeping deeper, I'm waking up feeling more well rested. It has completely changed my sleep experience. We got a bid to add air conditioning to our house and because of the weird configuration it was going to be like $23,000 to add it to what was already a brand new furnace. And while yes, it can get hot in the summer, with this, when I turn it down, it keeps me cool. I am able to sleep even if it's hot without air conditioning, and that right there is worth the cost of admission for me. In fact, it works so well, whereas with the Uller I had, it was always at low. It was at the coldest it could get. Now I never go below negative eight. I have yet to really put it on negative 10, which is the coldest setting, because it gets plenty cold at negative eight. And that to me was something I was not expecting. I was not expecting it to work that much better than other systems I have used, but honestly, it does. It just works and so much of it feels like magic from the sleep sensing to the fact it gets that cold to the fact that I can keep my side cold and my wife can have hers burning hot because for some reason that's what she likes. But if you're in the market for a sleep system like this and you're considering actually spending the substantial amount of money to get it, Simply the best thing I can say is that it's one of the best decisions you'll ever make. I know I review products here for a living, but this is one that honestly, as opposed to just helping my golf game or making things feel more convenient for me, this is one that has had a substantial positive impact on my life. And like I said, I've used it every night that I have been here for the last six months plus, so I've had a lot of experience with it. As it compares to the other products on the market, for the reasons I mentioned earlier, I found it to be night and day better than anything else I've used. While I've not used the Doc Pro, which is the newest and best Sleep Me product, uh, this is night and day better than the Uller. And when it comes to the BedJet, the nice thing about that is it is way cheaper. It's like a third the price, but it's air-based, which is kind of weird. So basically it's just a big fan that blows into a special mattress pad, which is kind of cool. And it helps keep you cooler, but in terms of actually allowing you to really adjust temperature and have different temperatures for different people, like it's not even close to what the 8 can do. And that's not even factoring in all of the benefits of the sleep tracking and the app. So... There you go. I don't know what else to tell you. It's a lot of money. It's a luxury purchase, but it is one that I wholeheartedly believe in. And if you think you want it and you think you want to invest in it, then honestly, I would say just take the plunge because your sleep's never gonna be the same. 
it's that good. Also, be sure to go check out our written review. So if they update the app or if they add any new features, that is where it's going to be easier to update this because I can't very easily go and update this YouTube video. So with that, I hope you got some value out of this. Make sure you go hit subscribe, like, comment, do all of the things. If you have any questions about this, like I said, I've got extensive experience with the 8 Sleep Pod 3 cover. So drop them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer every single one. And with that, hope you have an excellent day. We'll see you on the next video. Cheers.